join the conversation, but I think I'm coming in at just the right time because I need to correct the record. Uh, and the record uh, should reflect that this country has uh, record revenues this year. We don't have a revenue problem. We have a spending problem. And when we cut taxes, the only way that those tax cuts would contribute to the deficit or the debt is if they are not matched by spending cuts. It's the other side of the aisle that decided they were not going to match those uh, tax cuts with spending cuts because this side of the aisle would be happy to make the spending cuts that are necessary to keep this budget in balance. Uh, we were in balance once. It does require growth. More growth comes from lower taxes. Less growth comes from higher taxes. So allowing the tax cuts to expire will have a negative impact on growth, will have a negative impact on revenues, and will have a negative impact on this economy unless we take necessary action to cut non-defense discretionary spending, get rid of all the woke and weaponized government that has created uh, such chaos across this country and actually begin to exert some si signs of fiscal responsibility that are so woefully lacking across this government. Um, the world is watching. We are at risk of losing the dollar uh, as our global reserve currency. Uh, we are, and, and you want to see a recession? Take that away. Replace that with uh, currency from some other country. Uh, and you'll see inflation like you've never seen. You'll see um, deficits like you've never seen. You'll see a recession like you've never seen. But what I want to get uh, focused on is uh, what I want to ask Dr. Taylor, um, just as government spending crowds out private investment, the reckless spending habits here in Washington is crowding out uh, our own capacity to spend as more dollars must be committed to paying off interest uh, this issue of interest on uh, the debt and the fact that it is crowding out spending. Uh, can you talk about the economic harm resulting from such a large increase to interest payments on the debt? Yes, this is really one of the reasons to deal with this debt problem because there's the interest on the debt. But all evidence says that restraining the growth of government to, to modest levels, to much much different than what's in this current budget, would be beneficial to growth, beneficial to all Americans. We have, we'd have, let, let, rather than less than 2%, we have 2% plus. And that is so powerful. That's the thing that should be, I don't hear enough about that. That should be emphasized more. These are growth-inducing policies. The tax cuts, if, if you like, or at least leaving the tax rate where they are would be growth-inducing. And it, it's, it's just part of the picture. I mentioned monetary policy. That's also part of it. So I think it's very important to emphasize these things. Well, let's talk about MMT and, and those that insist upon uh, ignoring realities and, and adding to this reckless spending. Can you talk about the, uh, the, the fantasy world in which these MMT theorists live? Yeah, I think that's a good description. It's... Uh, it's uh, Hard to make, you know, we look at it carefully as we can, and I think that you can't say much about it. It's just another way to think about. The, the reality is the, the government thrives because of good economic policy. Good economic policy is good fiscal policy, good monetary policy, good regulatory policy, good international policy. They all go together. We, we focus on the budget because this is the budget committee, but it all goes together, and you heard, you heard people say about that, talk about that already. I emphasize that right I teach students. That's what I do. I emphasize this all goes together. Now, Mr. Hodge, uh, President Biden's proposed raising the corporate tax rate to 28%, larger than China. Uh, do you think that raising the corporate tax burden above communist China would make us less competitive against our top foreign adversary? It would actually be worse than raising above the, the Chinese level. It would actually put the US uh, tax rate back to one of the highest corporate tax rates in the industrialized world. And we know from economics, uh, economists at the OECD have found that the corporate income tax is the most harmful tax for economic growth. And economic studies also show that uh, the, the economic burden of the corporate tax largely falls on, on workers through lower wages. This would be a very, very harmful uh, uh, policy impact on the, on the U.S. economy. Thank you. I appreciate the time, Mr. Chairman. I yield back.
I thank the gentleman from Virginia and now yield five minutes to Mr. Trone from Maryland. I thank you, Chairman, and I apologize being late. I missed most of the testimony. We had uh, two appropriations subcommittee hearings, but that's over with and we're here. Uh, Mr. Zandi, I'm with uh, Dr.